What up? This is July from Kickback Couture. Um, if I sound sick, you're right. I am sick. I've still been sick repeatedly. <laughs> Anyways, today I'm going to show you how to automate tempo and, you know, add some variety to your beats. So this is what I have for the intro. And I'm thinking of doing something creative and maybe having it either go fast and then slow down to the right tempo or go slow and then speed up. So uh, in order to automate the tempo, it's really simple. Um, it's going to have something to do with this transport area. Um, there's a couple ways to do it. You can just click on this up here and click on tempo. You also see that you can automate time signature or you can come down here, right click, edit automation. This is the way I do it. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's just a habit that I have. And that's the way I get to it. Um, so it is 133.5. And uh, also, by the way, if you like the melodies, these are a uh, part of my upcoming MIDI kit called Drenched by Design. The MIDI is called Thumbelina. So if you want to look out for that, um, that's the name right there. I just gave it to you. Um, and people are always asking me about uh, the sounds I'm using. And I pretty much made them from scratch. Uh this lead I made from scratch and then this is obviously just um, a preset this is a preset I didn't change anything um, the base I made from scratch I'm thinking about putting together a refill so if you have any sounds that you want um, drop them in the comments so I know what to make and I know uh, who to cater to so back to the tempo we're at 133.5, so I'm just going to click at the beginning anywhere because there's no way I can see what I'm clicking on anyway as there is no numbers. So I'm just going to drag it down to match or I can type it in. So now we're at 133.5. Um, I didn't actually have to do that. Uh, so what we're going to do is start off up here somewhere. Um, let's say 200 and then 133.5 would be what we're trying to get at the end point here so 133.5 and let's see what this sounds like So you might like that. If you do not like that, uh, we could try going slower and speeding up. Obviously this will make the intro longer as the other way made it shorter. You can even do this on half of it. Um, actually, that's not the way to do it. Just time stretch it. And you might like it like this. That way you have more time at the actual tempo. It gives the artist uh, time to figure out what's going on. Insert tag. <laughs> Uh, we could do it again um, from the fast tempo and see what it sounds like. 200 beats per minute. You could hear the tempo drop in there. The pitch actually was changing because it was dropping so fast. It was pretty cool. So if you like that, you could do that. Um, let's see what it sounds like, like this. This is where you insert your transition, your riser, your, whatever you want to use, your gate, tape stop. Whatever it may be. 
So um, let's go ahead and experiment with the tape stop right about here and see what happens. I already have, um, have it in my master group. So I'm just going to right click this play edit automation and draw a clip in right here. It's on play. So we're going to have it on pause when it reaches here. And I want to move my left locator right about here by holding option and my right one is already where I want it to be. So I'm going to turn on loop by pressing L, press uh, one on my number pad to get to the left loop locator and play from there. All right, so I want this to be longer, the stop to be longer. Turn down the start time so it doesn't affect when it's turning off. See what the curve sounds like. what it sounds like going into the, the verse so I think that's dope for an intro um, all that I would add here would be my tag um, obviously everyone has a different tag I won't go over that part um, another thing we could do is perhaps something with the we could do something with the hook for the tempo so it starts like this Let's say I want this to play half the speed it is without using halftime or something. So um, let's do, I'm going to move this, I'm actually going to leave that for right now. What I'm going to do is draw in another tempo clip, which would be up here. And my tempo is 133.5, so half of that would be... Okay, 66.75. Had to grab the handy dandy iPhone because I haven't had a math class in about one, two, about three years. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we got 66.75 here. So, 75 awesome and this is what this would sound like let's say I like that but I want the bass to go at the same speed as normal so I'm just gonna hold down time stretch and it's back to normal So that could be like a cool bridge idea. So you hear the bass is the same as it was before by time stretching it. You just have to keep in mind that you did change the tempo here. Maybe an idea for um, signaling that so that you remember. You could just put a block, um, put a block there. And then you could go name it tempo change so that you remember what what that means. And you could you could keep track of why, perhaps because you put something there, it's so slow. Um just so you remember. So you could do something like that when you're arranging your beats. And uh if you do choose this method and you still want to use these to organize your your song, whether or not you do that, maybe it's just me or the people who watch my channel. Um, remember that you can use song clips, the these clips right here, to organize your song as well. Just create a new track and uh, add the labels to the clips at the top. I wouldn't necessarily use this one, obviously, but I'm giving you an example. Um, 
so yeah those are some ideas for changing the tempo in your beats um this could be used as a hook or also you could use half time it's definitely up to you i feel like you get a different effect with this um obviously you're stretching the midi rather than the audio so uh it's definitely different than usual in a way um try these out with intros uh like I said, you can use that, the second one, for a hook, or you can use it for a bridge. Just be creative and try some things. Um, another thing you could do, which is often done, um, the first could be at the regular tempo, and then you could raise the hook by, like, um, let's say, uh, three to five beats per minute make it higher so that it seems like it has more energy um we could try that and see how that works right now and i'll show you um i would do it for the second part since the second part has the drums in it so we're gonna draw in this clip here 133.5 uh one let's go with 138 and you'll hear that it's not all that noticeable then we're back to the verse So you definitely couldn't tell that the tempo changed because it was subtle. This was a requested video uh, a couple weeks ago, so I apologize for the the delay. Um, I've been sick and I'm wrapping up my finals in school, so as soon as all that's done, you'll be getting more in-depth videos about uh, more complex concepts. So, if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. Let me know what you would like in a refill, um, as in sounds like leads, bells, plucks, bass, um, any particular thing that you're looking for, because I am definitely cooking up a refill for you all. Um, my MIDI kit, once again, is coming out really soon, so look out for that. Drenched by design, it's all culture.